be out your one length haircut. Now your block should be at the level suitable for your um, your long graduation to start. <coughs> but I'm just going to take your length for you. So you're going to discuss with the client how much to take off. Normally they do want the same, so if they want an inch off the bottom, they might want an inch off the top. Making sure that you put your comb into your hand. And I'm not moving my chair. Do not swivel on your chair. Do not move your feet. Don't do anything. I want you to stay dead centre and check your balance. A lot of you are then going back over your haircut and checking every single strand that you're doing it right. Check your first haircut by using your balance. Your next section. Yes, again, I'm going to bring the hair down to meet my guideline. Now, there's not much to cut off here. Yet again, check your balance. And your third and final section, which is your top part of your hot cross bum. So, no more than three sections. Yeah, if you're doing more than three sections, the client has got to have extremely thick hair. And if the client's got layers already, there's probably nothing to even cut off on this third and final section. So carrying out your one length haircut, checking your balance, making sure that the right is the same as the left, making sure that the head has stayed in the exact same position forward the whole time. Doing the sides, tilt the head away from you. Now before I'm going to cut the sides, let's just check the back bit. Let's just make sure that that's straight. Just make it straight if it's not. That is my guideline now to carry through. My haircut. Right, you get 45 minutes for your one length haircut. When you're doing a long graduation haircut, you don't get 45 minutes for this and then 45 minutes for the layers. It's 45 minutes in total. So your one length haircut shouldn't take you no more really than five minutes. It should be as quick as what I'm doing this. Yet again, check the back bit, make sure it's straight. If it's not, make it straight. Bring down your first section. And then your very last section here. Just take off anything that's needed. Like so. Last thing we do, what do we do? How do we know it's right? Check the balance, thank you. Left and right. Check in the middle. Done. That is your one length haircut. Don't take longer than that on your one length haircut. But that is your step one to carry out your one length haircut. You're now going to go into that forward graduation. So in order to do your forward graduation, that feather effect, you need to find a point to start the feather from. Most people will say around chin length, maybe a bit below. We don't really want it higher because that's going into a fringe, a long fringe. So maybe chin length and below. Because we need to get three haircuts out of the block, I want you to take off probably about this much first of all to start off your feathering.
Right, so let's start the forward graduation. Choosing the point in the centre. So, centre parting, I want a little bit of hair to the right of the parting and to the left of the parting. And I'm probably going to take from my block about this much off. Dead straight. That is your guideline to take. Then, we're going to work on one section. I've just chosen the left-hand section to start with. And we're going to sweep the hair around so that our finger, <coughs> if, when working on the left-hand side, your left hand, your fingers point up to the ceiling. You've got your guideline at the tip of your finger, and you're just going to cut down to the floor or into the palm of your hand. Yet again, taking sections, swooping it across the face, and cutting down into the palm of your hand. And cut down. All right? That is creating that feathery effect. Can you see that, where it's starting to shorter, gradually getting longer? Yeah? So that there is your left hand side. If I draw it on here, so that you can see on your drawings, you should have something <coughs> like this. And obviously your scissor mark is this short line coming down. <coughs> and everything needs to be mirror imaged. You've got your feathers. Take off anything that's not wanted. Now, if the hair is really long, then you would bring, you would carry on bringing the hair around. So I could even bring it round from the back to continue it forward. But when I run out of hair, that's it. Mirror image it. Now we're going to still do exactly the same. But this side, my hand, my fingers are pointing up to the ceiling, aren't they? This side my fingers are going to be pointing down to the ground. So your right hand side, fingers point down to the ground, following your guideline, which was your first haircut that you took in the middle. Keep bringing it down to the floor until all the hair has been cut. Now you'll see, if I continue taking more hair, it just falls. That means I don't need to take any more. Feather is now done on the right and the left. And all I'm going to do is just check my points. Always check your balance the way that you cut your hair. So there's no point in me going like this. Oh yeah, that looks right. Yeah, check it the way that we cut it. So we cut it, pulling it down zero degrees. with your angles of your fingers. So remember, left hand points up to the ceiling. Left side, sorry, right side points down to the ground. And then check your balance. Okay? Right, I'm going to stop you there, because what I want you to do, I want you to get your blocks out, and I want you to do this, because this is going to take you a while to crack on with. But make sure that you've got your picture done, so that you've got reference there. So start with your first incision, do the left side, do the right side, following the guideline and balance check. And this is just your forward graduation. I don't want you to start with your one length haircut because you've done that now. You're going to start with your forward graduation. Once you've all done this, we move on to the next step. So we're going to be making our recipe for this haircut. Any questions? Off you go. Moving on to your profile line. Now your profile line will be from forehead to your crown area. So just at the back area here. Not on top, at the back. So where you've got a centre parting, you're going to brush through that centre parting. If your block has dried at any point, 
Can you spray it down? Oh, spray it down with water spray. Because what happens if some bits of hair are wet and some bits of hair are dry? What happens to your hair cut? Goes up and down. Goes up and down, up and down, which makes it uh, uneven, yeah? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a profile line, which is a really thin section in the centre. Now where do I cut? Where do I cut? The guideline. Where's your guideline? The the top. Bit this bit, yeah? So using your very first point that you used here to cut is your very first point that you're going to use there. So you're going to be following your guideline yet again. So it's a thin section, dead centre. And what I want you to do is pull the hair up to the ceiling. My guideline's there, so I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to cut dead straight. <laughs> Using that, <coughs> take that section in half. Pull it up to the ceiling, use your guideline. And cut dead straight. Cut that section in half. Put it up to the ceiling. And cut dead straight. Cut that section in half. And just to where the back of the crown is. Any wispy bits there. Get that done. And then we're going to put it back in to the centre parting like so. Alright? So once you put it back into the centre parting, what I want you to do, I want you to get two clips out, I want you to clip your front section away. So I want you to have one clip on your right side, symmetrical, one clip on your left side, and we're going to be dealing with the back section first. going to be doing is orange sections starting in the middle now as you're all right handed it will be <coughs> easier for you to stand on the right hand side of your client for this because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pulling the back section up at an angle like so however my elbow is low isn't it and I'm going to lift my elbow up high, like so. And I cut dead straight here. I don't want you to cut down to the floor. I want you to lift your elbow and cut dead straight. Now some clients hair could be extremely long that we lift our elbow really high. All right. So using our guideline, which is here. Here's our guideline from our profile line. We're going to pull it out. There's my guideline there. I haven't really got that much to cut. Take that section in half. Same angle. And just cut off any wispy bits. That is one segment of my orange. I'm going to move round to the next segment of my orange. I must always pick up my profile line. That's where a lot of you go wrong. You start working down in parallel sections rather than working in an orange section. Now I'm going to move my feet slightly round as well. So I'm not going to be pulling this back to the middle section. So I pull it out. I slide my elbow up as I pull. Whatever falls, let it fall. I'm not cutting that. Yet again, go back to your middle section. Move my feet round again. Can you see my guideline? <coughs> if you can't see your guideline, don't cut. Yeah, because you don't know where to cut. High elbow. Might even need to go up down a bit further here. Yeah, just a little bit there. And my last section is always right over to the right or right over to the left. Just a little bit there to cut. So I've done my orange segments here. 
I'm then going to do my orange segments this side yes again pick up from the middle this is where you go wrong is that you pick up a section here and then you pick up a section here this section hasn't got the profile in the profile lines up here so making sure that you section with your profile pick it up cut next section pick up your profile line in that moving slightly round the head as you cut this section yet again has got my profile line in I'm moving the hair cut around like so and then the very last section goes over to the left right over to the left now the mistakes that you're going to have, not only are you not going to pick up your profile line, but you're also going to be angling that wrong. You'll probably cut that there. Yeah? You've got to be right over to the left. Now remember that the head is round, and think of it like a clock. Whoop! So you're cutting six o'clock, seven, no, six o'clock, five, four, three. Yeah, so make sure you're right at three angle. Six o'clock, seven, eight, nine. Pull it out in them angles of the clock. Don't sweep it round a different angle. Yeah, it must be the angle of the clock. That there <coughs> is your back section completed. All right? And to cross-check this, what we will do... Just to make sure that my haircut is right, I'm going to pick up a section at the back, about there, and I'm going to comb this underneath up to my face, so it's directly to my face here, and any wispy bits I'm going to cut, so that's the centre bit, I'm then going to stand to the right, and I'm going to pick up the back quarter, I'm going to pull it up sections, got quite a bit there to come off, and then I'm going to stand into my left hand quarter and do the same there. Why do we cross check? What's the point in cross checking? What's the point in cross checking? Anyone? Why do we do it? What's the point? To check it. To check it, yeah. I cut all my sections vertically. Now to check that my vertical sections were correct, I would do a horizontal check at the same angle. I won't change the angle and cut it and check it down there. I want to if I pull it up to here, I want to check it to here. If that makes sense. Is is that the same as maths to check a sum that adds up? You check it by doing a minus calculation, okay? This is your cross-checking, and then you just balance check. So what I want you to do now is I want you to do your orange sections, starting in the middle, high elbow, making sure that we pull out and cut high. Step three, profile. profile. Yeah, all the way back to the crown. Step four, clots. Clots, all your orange sections. Yeah, making sure that you move your feet round with your orange sections. Oh, they could do that as a dance. Then what? What's the last thing you just did? Cross check to your face. Yeah, cross check the middle section, cross check the right, cross check the left. Once you've done them steps, then you move on to these last two steps now, and then the whole haircut's finished. As you 
obviously learn the steps off by heart, it will get quicker and quicker and quicker, but I'm doing it really slow for you today so that you can learn it. Right, I've done the back section, haven't I? So realistically, I'm going to clip this out of the way now because I don't want to touch it no more. I know that it's cut to the right length and I also know that it's cross-checked. <laughs> Right, so wet your blocks down if need be. Right, Sam, come in front of me, please. Cannot see from there. Walk straight past the camera. <laughs> right. Okay, we've done the back sections. Now what we're going to do, we've got two more sections left to cut. We'll cross-check it, job done. All right? So we can start on the left hand side or the right hand side, it doesn't matter. Starting on my left hand side, what I can do, it's the easiest side to do as I'm going to pull it up. Now, can you see I've got all the hair you see I've got all the hair picked up, Demi? Yeah? I don't want you to do that. I want you to leave that. Why do you think I want you to leave that? Yeah, it's longer at the bottom. You may accidentally cut that if you bring it up in your section. So never bring up the length. I want you to keep the perimeter at all times. So why don't you keep it back? No, I'll leave it there. Okay? So I want you to leave the length. So I'm going to start off with an orange section. At the back. A nice thin section like so. And how are we going to cut this? What angle? What angle? 135 nearly. High elbow. There is my profile line, incision, my elbow, and cut. Mind your skin when you cut, please. And your <laughs> Next section. Now it doesn't matter if you pick up some of your back section or not, because your profile line will always give you that guideline. Yep, yeah, I'm not picking up the bottom. Nice thin sections all the way from crown to forehead. So if the front area is shorter, ignore it. Ignore anything that's shorter. Even if the client had a fringe, ignore it. If a client had a fringe, how would you do your forward graduation? Yeah, you would take it a little bit behind. Yeah, so bring that a bit forward and then bring down the side bits. What you don't want to do is bring up the fringe and use that as your profile line because that's going to be really short. Yeah, so you start from behind the fringe. She wouldn't want that in line, in line with the fringe because it would look really, really hideous. Right? You must make sure it's a little bit shorter than the length. Not exactly a little haircut on top. Once I've done this, yet again, pick up my quarter, stand in my quarter, and I'm just going to cross check it. Why have I left this bit down? It's got to be longer. It's got to be longer. I don't want to cross check that. I don't want to cut that. I just want to leave that. That is my length. What I also want to do is I want to just check that my back also connects with my front. So I'm going to bring that in the cross checking. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. I'm going to just take it off. Now I know that that whole section is done. To do the right hand side, you've got two options. You can stand behind your client, but that means you've got to lift up the other elbow, or you can come in front of your client and continue on working the same elbow 
raising up the like so. Might be easier for you at the moment. You can see. Might be easier for you at the moment to stand on in front of your client while you're training, just so that you keep that angle all the same. Taking your sections. All the way forward. Last little bit. It's quite a bit to come off. Can you see that? And this last bit here. Yeah. What have I do, what do I do next? Core. Cross check. Cross check. Yeah, so picking up some of my back section. Leaving the length. Leave the length. I don't want that. Pick this up. Where, what part of my body? Front of the face. Face. Okay. Comb it up to my face. I haven't really got... Can you see how straight that is? I've just got some wispy <coughs> bits there to cut off. Voila. Haircut is complete. And then we can blow that. And then we've got balance check, making sure you feel what's the same. And then you blow dry it. So ways that you can blow dry it is to obviously double brush. You've got your flicky out blow dry. Now you've got some layers in there. You can also do a diffuse blow dry. You can also flick it out underneath, making it round on top. You've got a forward graduation that you really need to see. And the very last result is to obviously have a straight blow dry with flat irons, which is the most boringest one to do. Alright? So that is your long graduation haircut. Complete.